In today's episode of ARK, we unfortunately have some moans. Oh. We also have some groans. Oh. But we do also have some pretty magical moments. Get in! We're doing it! There comes a time when you just become desperate. And desperation comes to fruition when all other options have all but gone. And I was all out of options, patience and ideas. So it was after much deliberation that we did what we did. But we had to do what we had to do. And if we didn't do what we did, then we didn't do what we had to do. And so we did what we did. Jesus. The rocks look feckin' awful with this foliage interaction on. Evie had uh, commented in the previous episode, like, what the heck is going on with this? Basically, if I have foliage interaction on, it crashes my game. If I turn it off, this happens as, like, a little side effect for that. Shit. Um, anyway, I'm desperate. I'm desperate. And I'm going to do something that I didn't want to do, but people have told me that it's safe and that I was worried that if I did this, people would think that I'm cheating. But I've had many people reach out and say, Butch, it's okay. It's not cheating. It happens. Sometimes to deal with arc, you have to unarc arc. So I think I press ghost here in my console. And that means I can, I think. Oh my God, I'm actually floating. I think I should be able to go through here and get him back. Oh, Hedwig. Oh my days, what are you doing in here? So can I ride? Wait, what? He's stuck. Do I have to ghost again? Oh, oh no. Oh, this is bad. Are we swimming? What, what's going on here? What, how do I go up? Okay. <gasps> oh! No! No, no, no! Oh! Nah, I don't like this. Get me out. Get me out. Get me. Panic. Walk. Save the game. Oh, we have him back. How is he doing? He's... Wait, what does that thing in my top right mean? Does that mean no, like, VoIP? We have him back. Right, I should probably have a look. Everything's fine, yeah? Everything's good. Everything. I mean, he's got eight levels. Sheesh. Remember the health up. Okay. Okay, I feel slightly bad doing it, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm only getting my, like, I've not, I've not cheated getting my dinos after they died from like an... What? How do I go up? How do I go up in ghost mode? When I tell you that this was not okay, I mean this was to the level of fright where it is beyond being jump scared and closer to putting your fist through the monitor. Falling through the floor into a cavern of ocean was the definition of absolutely not. Okay. Hoping I don't fall down too much. Uh! Uh! What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Why can't I get out? 
What the fuck is going on? Where am I? I hate this. I... I don't want to fall through anything again. So, am I unghosted right now? Ghost, will that turn it off? Am I off? Walk. Oh. Save the game. That was the worst experience of my life. Now that we had retrieved Hedwig back from the clutches of the mountain, we had him follow us as we rode Derek back to the castle. Thankful that we were making progress, I was looking forward to introducing Hedwig to Brian. Oh my god, I wonder what the two pillars were. I completely forgot that we'd built the gate, and that's how big it looks. <laughs> Fucking Brian's fallen through the ground. It had turned out that the hill we had built our castle upon was neither water, liquid, or glass. It seemed to be a malleable substance akin to rice pudding, and it would suck my dinos in when I wasn't looking. This hill was no longer safe, so we escorted Hedwig down from the hill and towards the beach. Not gonna be fun, so he's fallen through. Was that because I went into ghost mode like what's what 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 is actually going on here can somebody explain to me what the hell is going on i feel like this is one of those things though that is a is a kind of new player it's like <gasps> this is absolutely preposterous and then everyone else is like yeah welcome to arc and it's one of those things that i'll just become accustomed to but now it, it it's quite unsettling to be quite frank why why is Hedwig all the way over there? Oh, for God's sake. I tell you what, these dinos are... Brian! <laughs> what the fuck are you doing there? Right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, we might be able to... Might be able to do something here and just get him without having to... Do the old ghost mode. If I can... I play this right. I did not play it right, and as such, we had to ghost our way up to Brian in order to get his head out of the wall. I don't like this. I do not like this. This is fucking weird. Okay. Okay, and then how do I go down? Just look down, and we go down. There we go. This is just so surreal. So surreal. And then I unghost. Um... No, walk. We're fine. Now, if I jump off here, will I... The same thing happen to me? <laughs> what? How do, how do I stop that? How do I... What the hell's going on? How do I... Now I can't... Am I not ghosting? Am I not ghost? Do I need to ghost again? Uh, right. N now I press walk. Oh. Why does that keep happening? Hedwig and Brian were now rescued, safe, and sound. And that left Steve, who had been patiently waiting for me to come and save him. You're here. So, last time ever. Hopefully, probably not, though, really. Let's be honest. We're going to go ghost like this. So, we're going to walk through. I hate this. Where are you? Where are you? Steve! Stay, 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 stay. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. Shh. And then we do... But you're too heavy. How the... How the fuck are you too heavy? Oh, because I'm too heavy. Wait, if I ghost, though... Nope. I've done it again! Oh, I hate that. Right, hold up. So, now I do walk? Oh, good. Right, Hedwig, take all of this. How annoying. How annoying. 
Oh, Steve's right underneath us here. Look, he's here. All right. So now I go ghost on. Let me ride you. What's going on here? Let me on. Why is it not letting me on? I don't like this. I don't like this that I'm above the water. Alright, stop, stop, stop. Stop. Stop moving. Derek, for fuck's sake. This is like, what actually is going on? <laughs> Please stay still. Please. Right, who's he fo He's following Umbridge. Right, so if I go... Fly, then walk. Right. So if he's following Umbridge, I move Umbridge over here. Steve moves, but I don't want you to. Like, oh, that's Umbridge. Oh, Jesus. Fly ghost. I, I can't interact with Steve at all. No, pressing any button doesn't work. Ooh. We might just have to leave Steve for a bit. I couldn't figure out for the life of me how to stop him running in circles. So we did what we did with all of the problems that we struggled to solve and completely ignore them. We did though return to a problem that we had encountered last time on our ventures, taming a flying dinosaur. We are going to try and do something. Something in which we, we failed miserably at. In the previous episode, link is in the description. Go and watch it. You should. It's a good video, if I do say so myself. Uh, we failed miserably in taming a Terranodon. 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 A Terranodon? Terranodon. Terranodon. We failed really, really badly. Um, it woke up before it got tamed, and then when we tried to tame it again, we killed it because it was such low health. We also didn't have the saddle. That's what we're going to build just now. Um, so we need 230 hide, which we... Definitely don't have enough off, do we? In that case, uh, yeah, let's go do a little bit of hunting. Um, we've pretty much got everything that we need for it. I think we'll just take maybe Brian out. Um, Brian's a pretty low level, and he has basically the best stats of any of my dinos by like a country mile. So I'm thinking that we uh, we level if we level him up even more. Oh boy, oh boy, he will come become unbelievably powerful but we'll go find some shitty little dilfs and um stomp on them here we are oh look and he's got a level up look at the see what i mean look at this health stamina weight melee torpidity is 2000 tor torpidity uh, torpidity torpidity i think i am gonna put the weight up on him though because it would be useful if he can like carry it a decent amount so um off we go He's not the fastest, though. I still think maybe Derek is faster. I think. Save the game. But, I mean, it's a T-Rex, this, isn't it? So, why is that appeared there? Look at me. Riding off on a dino into the unknown and not a care in sight. Dino had grown not just as a man, but as a warrior. We felt invincible. Oh. <laughs> Look at this, man. Whoa, what? Oh, shit. It'll be the piranhas, won't it? It is the piranhas. Can we not beat them up? Wait, my guy has no stamina. How do you have no stamina? Eat them. Eat them. Yes. Brian killed them. We don't get hide from fish, do we? I can't remember if we do or not. Oh, did we did we do that? Did we? Oh, does he collect the resources if I just keep munching the carcasses? 
Oh, cool. Oh my god, I tell you what. I tell you what. Genuinely, for the first time, I think I feel powerful. I mean, he literally has the turning circle of the Titanic. That's not too bad. But I feel powerful. I know, I don't want to get cocky. Um, the Raptors might still... I don't know. I don't know how, if, there's, if, if anything's super effective. Why does his stamina keep going down, though? That's what I want to know. Is that literally just from me holding shifts? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, we need to we need to put a lot more points into, into stamina. A lot more points. Ooh. There's a beaver there. Can he tame beavers? Do I have a club? I mean, I do have... You know what? Yeah. Get the trank arrow in. Surely it would succumb to the effects of a bowler. A bowler, not Ebola. Yeet! Missed. Fuck. Ah, it is. I am... Right, I'm going to do this really gently. Oh, don't look at me. Go to sleep. You are only level two. Surely if I hit you again, you die. Fuck. <gasps> is he asleep? Unconscious. Yeah, yeah. He's unconscious with his face in the water, though. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? F. Press F to get into the inventory. And then... These are herbivores, right? Uh, they're not... Oh, they're seeds. Magna berries. Cyan berry. Taming zero. I'll maybe put some meat in just in case. We weren't sure what food was best for taming the beaver, so we covered all bases and just put every bit of food that we had in. I don't know what um what these do, what beavers do. I feel like there's a use to them. I mean, they, I know they collect wood in real life. Are they wood collecting creatures? I don't know how on earth you'd get them to collect wood. Can you get dinosaurs to go on and you know like how Kelvin in um in what in um Sons of the Forest? That would be cool if you could do that with the dinos. I don't, I don't know what they eat. Fish, maybe? Can we get it a fish? Right, stay. Where's a fish? I need a piranha. Do beavers eat fish? I don't know. What's that? Oh, shit. Where are you at, piranhas? Here we go. There we go. I got some fish. I got some fish. I'm trying to think, would a piranha be a vegetarian? Oh, we've got herbivores, isn't it? Oh, wait, is that tamed? Has it been tamed? It has. It has, it has. Okay, cool. Um, I think... Wait, somebody said you can force feed it narco berries as well. How the hell would you force feed narco berries? I gave it all my narco berries. To save you lot squirming in your chair and pulling your hair out, I do eventually figure out how to force feed some berries to knock out dinos, but that will all come later. In the meantime, I had been collecting narco berries and harvesting as much hide as I could while we waited for the beaver to munch on some food and eventually become tamed. However... Yeah, look, isn't consciousness is nearly gone? And I don't know how to feed you narco berries. What if... What if I just took everything out? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not going anywhere, sir. Actually, I probably don't need to use the bowler for you, do I? Because you're not exactly rapid. Oh, shit. 170? <gasps> I'm using the wrong arrows. What the fuck are you running from? Right, please don't die. I think it's two shots. Two shots. There we go. This wasn't a death from negligence, nor malice, nor accident. This was a death caused by sheer incompetence. At this point, it's not even funny. Just how bad I am at this game. I just killed a beaver. 
an innocent beaver. He fucking looked at me. I threw the I threw the bowler at him and he didn't even look aggressive. He just looked at me like, oh, what are you doing? And then I, I shot him a couple of times with the tranko and I thought I was going to get it. And because I didn't know how to feed him narco berries, which is what everybody was telling me to do, you, you woke up. I capture him again and that's fine. And then I fucking use the wrong arrows and I kill him. Uh, I mean, uh, I was going to call you Bruno. Oh, I hate the way he goes. Oh my God. What is that it gives me? That's 17. What's this? That was 14. So it's that. What? What? What's this? Pelt. I don't want his pelt. I wanted him. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at the game. Another innocent dinosaur killed by my hands. At this point, it would be better if the kills were out of malice, because then at least there would be a reason. After slicing up the dead beaver, we moved on up the coast, keeping an eye out for small prey that we will be able to harvest hide from for our saddle. Rex has, right? I want Rex's um, Brian's stamina to go up here because it's it's shit, quite frank. Right, uh, we need a load more hide. I'm, I'm just going to run this coast until it goes dark, basically. Yeah, look how quickly his stamina goes down there. That's revolting. Oh, look, there's one of those bear things. Oh, there's a feathered thing. Oh, you know what? You know what? Save the game. We could. Okay, here's the deal. If we walk by that feathered thing and it attacks us, we attack it. If it doesn't, we don't attack it. Deal? Oh, it's not attacking us. That's because I'm on a T-Rex, isn't it, bitch? Yeah, you're far. No shit. I don't know what that does. The roar. No one seems to really react to it. Oh! Shit! Turn around, turn around, turn around! Turn around! Why am I not turning around? Why am I not turning around? Oh shit, it's actually doing damage. It's actually doing damage! No, 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 no! No! Kill it, kill it, please, please! Please, 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 please! Please! Please die, please die, please die, please die! Go, go, just go! Just go, Brian! That compy's coming. The compy might literally kill us. Oh, it's not a compy, it's a whatever the fuck you are. Piss off, piss off. Genuinely piss off. Oh, Brian, we need you much higher levels. Oh no, look, collateral damage. He's a bit of hide though. Sorry, right, where'd the feather thing go? Oh my God. God, I thought that our all sense of power is gone now. The Humble Bundle. A series of unfortunate events <laughs> leading to the humbling of the growing confidence and ego that I had in this game. First, an accidental beaver death followed swiftly by a near miss from my supposedly indestructible T-Rex. This was the universe telling me that I needed to go home and I greatly complied. Oh my god, look at that. Look at this. Oh, it looks so good. I, you, I don't know what you are. What the T-Rex had in bite, it was short on in stride. It was slow and consistent, but didn't match the speed or agility of Derek. It gave us time to enjoy the setting sun, but also dwell on how incapable we had been thus far. Nevertheless, eventually, we found ourselves back at the castle and noticed that Steve had finally calmed down. 
we were able to ghost him out from underneath the map and finally return him to this dimension to join the other dinosaurs. Pterodon saddle in three, in two, one. Now, here's a question for you. How the hell do I go and get upgraded ones of these? Do I have to find the specific engrams to do so? Because I know... Oh, wait a minute. I should have checked. I've got a bunch of saddles in here. I don't know what for, but maybe I should have checked. Um, Carbonemies? I don't know what that is. We checked the remaining storage units, and thankfully, we hadn't previously looted a saddle for the big bird thing. We waited out the night, and at the first sign of daybreak, we set out to finally, finally begin to fly. Right, where are these pesky, pesky birds? Oh god, that, that's a pelican. It's coming right for me. Don't, I'll do it. Don't think I'll, oh, wrong arrows actually. I only have 10 thingy-mabobs left. Um, um, trunk arrows, so. It's, it's, it's typical, isn't it? When you're looking for something, you can be guaranteed not to find it. Never. No, 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 no. No, but when you want to avoid something, yeah, you can guarantee it's ever-present. There's a law for that, isn't it? There's something like you... When you see one yellow car, you see them all sort of thing. Or like if you buy a, um, a particular um, like model of car, you're guaranteed to see more of it. The south banking of this river seemed to be empty of what we were looking for. But we were careful to venture too far, given how dark it still was. Oh my god, that's dark. Oh, There's one. There's one. Quick, 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 quick. I'm so sorry. I missed. Jesus Christ. Right, quick, quick, quick. Okay, nobody panic. This is going to be clinical. There's going to be like a surgeon. It's a female. We're going to shoot you in there twice. And you're going to go to sleep because of it. There we go. Shh. Okay, right, put, right. so we need to put food in its inventory to tame. What do we put in? Shit, was this a meat eater? Does it tell me? Pterodon? Wild, put food in inventory, show more. Uh, it kind of looks like a meat eater with its... Oh, Jesus. I need a creature to sacrifice for the greater good. Uh, fuck. You see? Yeah, don't die on me, don't die on me. I don't think I don't think that's getting tamed. Right, shit. It might be raw meat. No dodos though. No dodos. Don't be absolutely ridiculous. Uh the first creature that I I've not killed one of the Blastoise things yet. Maybe one of them? Oh, no, don't do the dodo. Oh, that was a bird. Come on. There's gonna be something around here. Bird! Shit! Come here. Maybe maybe it's a fish eater. Fish eater. It w oh, it will be, won't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait. We don't... Oh, wait. Fish eater? No, 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 never mind. We just get normal raw meat. We get normal raw meat. Right, where are we going? Um. Right, here we go. Right, they're taming things up nice and high. Actually, this way we'll be able to tell. If I just put the meat in, we'll know for sure that it's a meat eater. Oh, there could be anything on there. There could be anything. Relax. I've got to start thinking of names as well. Flying. Much time passed, but still, the taming meter didn't budge one pixel. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. The comments as well were saying that if you press E in their inventory on narco berries, then it forced feed some narco berries. That, n nothing happens when I do that. Can I just shoot it with another track? Nothing is going up at all. I'm pressing what is my use button, but it's not doing anything. Does it only eat, like, under a certain level of, like, unconsciousness? So, like, when, when the pink bar's really, really full, it, like, 
they don't eat, and then it's only when it drops under half. I mean, we could shoot it another time. If it comes to it. I just want to see. It's, it's just not eating at all. What if I give you cooked meat? Perhaps we just had to be patient. Sit tight, hold on, and pray that nothing bad would ever happen. I don't like this. I don't like this. I thought, by the way, that the daytime was coming. But it's not. Well, it's four in the morning. You know, you guys can see that. It's four in the morning. I keep forgetting I can do that. <laughs> Fuck, no, 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 that's an alpha, that's an alpha. Huh? Shit, 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 no, 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 I hate this game, I hate this game, I hate this game. I hate this game, I hate this game so much. I hate this game. I hate this game. I can't tell you how much this bugged me. We couldn't get a moment's peace. I just never felt like I had a foothold on the game today. It was just failure after failure. I'm a little bit crushed. I'm a little bit crushed. I don't feel good right now. I don't, I don't feel good. You gotta ask you, you gotta ask the question. Why, why do we do this to ourselves? Why do we why do we play these sorts of games? Yeah? Why? Uh what was I doing? Uh, trying cows, that was it, yeah. Um All you can really do in situations like these is keep going. I mean, when you're down this bad, the only way you can go is up. So we replenished our stock of trank arrows, and when the sun was high in the sky, we set off back in search for another bird thing. Sorry, yep, yeah, I'm just, I can't think and talk. You know, I, I really, really struggle with multitasking sometimes. Um, hey. I read a comment that was like, oh, fix the floating rocks. I'm going to name you and shame you. Who was it? Colin Poulston, 42. Shit, Colin. Blaming this entirely on you. You've distracted me. Now I'm getting eaten alive by piranhas. Fuck's sake. You know what? We're going to call every single piranha Colin now for that. Fix the floor. Colin! I'm trying to give you 15 seconds of fame here. <laughs> yes, that's an iPhone 15. Go to settings, video, and select restore all graphics. This will fix the floating rocks. I tried that. It didn't work, Colin. I've just done that. It didn't work. Should we, should we test something? Right, I'm going to save the game now. Watch this. And I'm going to turn foliage interaction on. You see it's on here. Uh, that's usually a four. Do, 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 do. Right, on and four. Save. It'll tell me to go back to the main menu. Okay, now we're going to go back to the main menu. And then we're going to see how long it's going to take for it to crash. So we're currently, for me, one hour, 32 minutes, and 13 seconds. One thirty-two thirteen. And we're going to see how long it takes us before the game crashes and while we go to this coast now this coast has always been said what was i saying before oh i struggle with multitasking don't know what it is. oh my god yes wait what level are you i kind of want it to be a good level is 26 a good level fuck yeah sounds good to me yes right you stay there sunshine and now I'm going to shoot it like in its uh, wing. 94. Is there anywhere else I can shoot it? Oh, he out for the count already. Okay, put that away. We don't want any premature discharges. 
Never a good time. Nothing ever comes good from a premature this such. I don't have any food or berries. Quick, give it the fish. Give it fish. And then we're just going to grab a bunch of berries like this. All of the berries, all of the berries, all of the berries, all of the berries. Here we go. Beautiful. Right. And then we just slap them in. One of the things I was saying before. Yeah. So the, the, they were saying that you, you press E while the that these in in the inventory. And then look. You will be most pleased to know that after a cheeky Google, we actually learned something. I I click consume. I thought that would make me eat it. Wait, look, it torpedy is at 237 by the time we do this. Consume. And it goes up. Okay, I just think the taming takes forever. It really did take forever, but luckily for us, our strategy of coming to a safer location, away from any raptors, seemed to be paying off. While that's doing that, let me just get some more narco berries by interacting with the foliage. Oh, that's what I was saying, wasn't it? I struggle with multitasking. I always um, have, like... Oh. Have you stopped breathing? No. Look, this one's dancing. I always have, um, like, I don't know. It's difficult to describe, like, hyperfixations, like, utter hyperfixations on something. And if I get pulled away from that something, um, I don't know. It, ups it like, upsets me to a level, like, you get, you're not, not anxious isn't the right word, but, like, I don't like not, like, finishes, you know what I mean? Whether it's doing the dishes, whether it's taking a shit i'm not leaving anything in the tube it's all coming and i'll stay there as long as i need to or if i game i'll game for obscene amount of hours like i could very very comfortably like sit down and game for 16 hours I could, I could never sit down for that long like from like a social perspective and my responsibilities in life unfortunately i had my time doing that when i was a student and stuff and that was fine i used to I used to slack off lectures and just... I remember when I went to uni, this was in uh, 2013 when I went. I remember I got my very first gaming laptop and I took it with me. And um, I've never been one for going out and about and like... I went in that party and I tried it. I did it and I enjoyed some times of it. But there were so many times when I would go to pre-drinks and we'd go out, we'd hit the clubs and then I'd get there. I'd just pay the ridiculous entrance fee and I'd go in and I'd sit there and I'll, I'll do some dancing. Yep, this is obviously exactly how I dance in club. And then all of a sudden, it was like an instant. I call it my social battery. It just hit zero and I was like, boof. I'm like, I don't want to be here anymore. And I would just literally leave. I said, like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just nipping to the toilet. And I'd leave and I'd go home. There we go, he's eating. And then I would load up my laptop. This is at like 2 a.m. And I would sit and I would play Battlefield 4 until like 7 a.m. And then I'd just continue playing it. Just can patch lectures and patch is a Scottish phrase for skive, which is an English phrase for... Do Americans use it? North Americans use the word skive? I always like to say North Americans. I don't want to exclude my Canadians. My, my most viewed audience at the moment is USA with like 40%. USA. 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 Then it's UK by like, I think 17. Ca Canada's eight. It's weird. Um, yeah, Sky. Like, you miss a lecture deliberately. You Sky that you patch it. You. Oh, Sky is a. Truant. Truancy? No, I think Skive is American, actually. Skive? Hey, you, you want to Skive mayor and go to the mall? Deeply apologize. Jesus Christ, this better hurry up. But it is at 54%, so it should just eat one. Wait, taming effectiveness 99.8. Does that mean that I... It'll get, gain 12 levels if I tame it. As this pterodon continued breathing like a bear with hay fever, we contemplated what it would actually mean when we took flight for the very first time. Ah, this is it though, guys. We're getting one. I don't see anything that's going wrong. I've got the saddle. Yeah, we've got the saddle. 
We've got that. We've got a flying bird. We're genuinely about to fly for the first time. No idea how to fly. <laughs> oh, it, but I feel that like I feel that this is the moment when I fly, when I fly for the first time. Which let's be honest, we think it's going to happen. I don't see any. I don't see how it can't happen. That is the moment that I lose my innocence in the game. The second that we get in the skies and we see. Just how big this island is. I know we've seen it on a map, but the second that we get in the sky and we see just how big this place is, that's when it's going to be like all innocence is gone. All naivety is gone. And it's like, welcome to Ark. You know, sometimes you, you like um, play a movie and you it, the movie just starts and then you get a little bit and then like literally 15 minutes into the movie, you then get that the movie title screen, if you know what I mean. Um, or like, yeah, I, f I feel like that's what the, the, the game is like now. If you've ever played Ghost of Tsushima, it has the most incredible and for me memorable title screen. Cause you played like an hour of the game. Then all of a sudden you're on a pony in this like field with white flowers and it's cinematic, the drastic, dr uh, like dramatic music comes in and then it's like Ghost of Tsushima. I feel like now, like when I fly, this is my cutscene of welcome to Ark as we're like going over everything and seeing it like the game's lulled me in for 40 hours and we've seen exactly this much of the map but then when we start to fly over it it's like that's the title screen that's the game beginning this is when it all starts so I'm just enjoying my naivety and innocence don't ever think that it's ignorance I know exactly how underprepared I am for things sometimes you know, in the grand scheme of things, you know, there's, I, I know that there's very slow progress and there isn't, isn't much going on. Uh, d don't get me wrong. I'm not ignorant to that fact. I might be naive to it. I thought that I was prepared for the cave the second time when I went in it. I wasn't. <gasps> I've not thought of a name. Oh, flying, flying, fl Can you guess what it is yet? I'm going to give you five seconds to guess. And you have to let me know if you get it right. Five, four, three, two. Nimbus. I don't, I don't call it Nimbus 2000. No, we'll just call it Nimbus. Oh, it did. It went up 12 levels because of my uh, taming effectiveness. Hello. Wow. Let me turn that hood off real quick. Look at you. Whoa. Let me get a closer look. <laughs> oh my god, the detail. Look at that. That's actually quite impressive. Okay, yeah, I can see the individual pores on your skin. It's not really skin, is it? Is this your friend? Is it your friend? Right. I don't know what to do now. Because this is it. This is it. If I can fly it, who knows? Who knows? I might have done something bleedingly obvious that everybody's cottoned on to the fact now. Ooh! Okay, right. Well, we've got to put the saddle on. You've got enough food to eat. What's his weight? Oh. How much do I weigh? So, like, see in here... My weight is currently 118. Is that because of all of that stuff that I have? Plus me? So, am I going to be too heavy to... F the game crashed. Breathe in. And breathe out. Unclench and drop your shoulders. We reloaded back in, and we were about halfway through the taming process. Naturally, instead of being productive, I picked up my phone while we waited. Nowadays, every time I do, I'm reminded of just how lucky I am. Um, while I'm waiting again for the second time, I don't you know, quite like, like talking about this too much. I don't, I don't want it to be too immersion breaking, but when I go on my phone, 
and I look and check up on the YouTube video and I see that another 10, 20 people have commented on the video. You, you, you can't understand how incredible that is, how it makes me feel and it's, it's just, it's just insane. It's insane. The, this whole situation is just flabbergastery. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for this. This whole experience, this whole thing, everything that's happened in the past. How many months has it been now since April? It's just staggering. And it, it, genuinely, you have to stop and smell the roses sometimes and just think about where you've come from. And it's just fucking unbelievable. So thank you. Thank you. That's your cue to subscribe if you haven't already. That was me opening up to you, yeah? Make the- Oh, look, this guy, he's, he's been- He's looking at him. I'm, I'm going to subscribe now. 86% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. You do the math. If 38,000 is 86, is 14%. Imagine what 86,000, 86% is. Man, these rocks really are horrendous, aren't they? Finally, after many, many minutes of waiting, he was finally tamed. Ah, there we go. Dino, Dino, Dino. He's done it again. Uh, no, not Dino. Nimbus. Nim Nibus? What? N oh, that reminds me of um, Nibblekins. Nibblekins, if you're watching this, hello. And quick flick. Nimbus. I spell that right. Yep. Except, save the game. <laughs> and then now, finally, 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 finally. Oh, Ooh, I'm quite nervous. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know what's gonna happen though. I. I have a sneaking suspicion I'm not going to be able to ride him because I'm going to be too heavy. Three, two, one. Oh, he. Oh, good. Oh, no. That... <laughs> I think he might be a little bit too, um,. A little bit too heavy, folks. <laughs> I have a hoverboard. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Right, okay. Um, I mean, let's see if we can get home like this. Let's see. <laughs> we get, this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh. That's special, that, isn't it? Spectacular. Oh, I suppose we can level up his weight here a little bit there. So we can go sli- Oh, look at this boost. Whoa. He ain't lying. Now, how does the stamina work with flying animals? If he runs out of stamina, we will fall from the sky and likely die, but let's not focus on what could be and instead focus on what is. We were technically flying, if you can call this flying. We made it home safely and dropped off all of our items, including our armor, to make ourselves as light as possible. We wanted to test just how Nimbus could really fly. Oh, look at this. I'm about to fly. <laughs> I'm on my knees. Look at me. I'm on my, <laughs> I'm on my knees. <laughs> look at that. Having such like an incredibly powerful man like Dino in such a submissive pose on his knees. Fantastic. Okay. Oh, in three. In two. In one. Yabba dabba doo! Ah! Oh my god! We're doing it, we're doing it. Well, let's not go over the ocean. Let's go over this way. Oh, okay. I mean, they, oh, we've, we've seen all of this, but how high? Do I have a fear of heights? Let's find out. Oh my, oh my, look, my stamina is going down a little bit there. Okay, we need to be careful. I'm not losing track of things. He says as he sprints. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Whoa. 
Oh my god, he hovers in place. Oh my god. Look at the forest. So that that that's that's the green one there, right? That's the green one. And then that one over that way, that's the red one. The obelisks. Get in! We're doing it. I'm so scared about my stamina. I'm so scared about my stamina. Oh, should we fly? Have we been on top of that mountain? I don't know. Should we just go land on top of that? Because we can. I'm about half stamina now. I'm up, I'm above the clouds here, look. I'm above the clouds. Oh, oh look, there's a supply drop over there. Can I, like, use my... I can! Oh, so I can be like, hey, what's that over there? And I'm like, that, that's a rock. Stamina. Right, let's go over this way. Oh! A cloud there or something's just set on fire. This, this is cool. Can you barrel roll? Ooh, I don't want to press a button wrong. Oh! I don't know what that did then. I'm actually really conscious about I can't remember which button is get on and off. I think, I think I know. But I'm not going to press it. Just in case. Right, we're going to go to the top here. Just land on top of this hill because we can. Because we can. I'm just scared about landing if there's anything there. Why am I not? Oh, because I'm in K. Right, I need to go up like that. Yeah, so we just we just look up and down. It's not like um, what's the, what's the good to, like you know how if you've ever played some Nautica, you can go up and down like that. You, this isn't. You just you just look up and down. If anybody cared, obviously you guys probably have. I been here actually. I might have been here. Now I come to think of it. <clears throat> How do I land? How do, do I just hit the ground or is it going to hurt me and him? What's that? Oh, there's a note. How do I stop? How do I... No, no, no. Stop flying. Oh, I press control. Okay. Boots on the ground. You can't walk them. Oh, no. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that was just... That's just ridiculous. What's that? Oh, that's the, the friendly one, right. Am I getting um stamina here? Yeah, look, full stamina, right. Wait, 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 what? Why is the torpedy... Is that still from when he was knocked out? Yeah, probably. Shit, you were flying drunk. Oh, metal. Okay, anyway, let's um, save the game and uh, listen to this note. Yes. I have always tried to maintain a strict neutrality when it comes to tribal matters. But then again, I have never had an offer this tempting from someone as respectable as Mr. Nerva. Not only has he offered to provide me with test subjects, but he has also expressed a mutual interest in investigating the obelisks. Okay. All he asks from me is that I provide him with reliable counsel. I would trust few tribes to be able to make good on such promises, but Mr. Nerva's new legion is perhaps the most powerful tribe on the island. Indeed, if they maintain their current trajectory, they may be the only powerful tribe on the island. His offer is worth considering, at the very least. So here's the thing. I struggle piecing together the story because I'm reading these things so sporadically. However, um, I know that once I've finished, I still don't know if you can finish Ark. I can maybe go and like, watch a YouTube video which summarizes the, um, the lore of Ark. My God, I have a great chest. I have a phenomenal chest. Whoa. Whoa. Where's um, Nimbus? Here he is. Oh, shit. Right, we're going to take him back. I don't know what the best way to... Yes! 
Oh, I'm never, ever going to get tired of flying. Oh, the speed. Watch that stamina. Um, I don't know what the best way to level this is. Wait, what's his right click? Okay, it doesn't do anything while I'm in the air. Oh, Nimbus, me and you are going to go places, I tell you. Wait, I hope nothing can attack me in the sky. I'd like to think that I have at least one, like, safe zone and the sky could be it. Oh, look, one's coming down. Oh, no, let's go see that. Yeah, yeah, let's go see if we can touch it. Oh, no, that absolutely sinks my stamina. Wait, is that a yellow or a white? Oh, get that stamina up. Hmm. The fact that I can attack in the air probably tells me that there might be some aggressive pigeons. Okay, I can go a bit faster now because I'm closer to the ground. Haha, <laughs> beat you, bitch. Oh my god, how did I do that? I think I, pre I, think I pressed control. <laughs> We're going to try that again in the sky. For now, save the game. <laughs> oh my god, this game. So good. So good. Get your tendons out. Zap. 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 Ooh, free meat and hide. Don't mind if I do. Oh, wait. I'm not going to be able to. You, you won't be able to carry me now, will you? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't let me go. Ah, because he's yellow. Right, I don't need the stone. That looks like darker than normal. I'll get rid of it. There you go. Whoa, right. How did I... Oh, that's home. How did I do that? Oh, yes! Is there any use for that other than just barrel rolling? It doesn't matter if there isn't. Oh, wait, can I land him on top of the base? I'm still not 100% sure how I've landed. I thought it was control, but apparently that's that's barrel roll. I just lower it down. I love it. I love it. I love him. I love the game. I love flying, save the game. Everything about this is awesome. I was hoping I could go for a proper fly over the map, but with the stamina thing being there, um, it, it, I understand it is a necessary limitation of the game, I guess, I suppose. So what I need to do is figure out how we can level Nimbus up so that we can then go further afield. I don't want him to be constantly panicking because like I'm losing stamina. I don't want to travel. I want to be able to utilize them. But we got land dinos now. <clears throat> so we've got land dinos. We've got good storage dino with Derek. We've got Hedwig, who's just a beast. Um, we've got Brian, who's like the carnivore attacking. We've got Steve, although he's a little bit juvenile and a bit wet. He's going to be there. And then now we've got um, um, Nimbus, who we can tackle the air. We're genuinely having an army. The DA. Dino's army. Dumbledore's army. Oh, it's made to be. I need to finish now before I um, basically just stop having an erection. It's that painful. This is the game. I'm just 24 7 and wood when I play it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.